We're going back to basics because food is expensive. And like my internet friend Sarah says, tonight we might need some comfort food. This is not a political post. To be honest, I wish I knew more about politics. While I vote and do the bare minimum, as is my right as an American, there were a mixture of feelings I faced today. Last night, I spent most of the evening talking to my kids about the election. We talked about the importance of living in a country that's free. We talked about why I voted, who I voted for, and some of the changes I had hoped would come to this country. We talked about anxiety and fear if the other candidate won. And before bed, I reminded them that as a Christian family, we don't put our faith in any candidate. We don't put our faith. In any person, we simply put our faith in Christ. Now, you might not be a believer, and you might also be incredibly anxious about last night's results. And while I may be a little bit more optimistic because of my faith, I hope you understand that if you're upset about last night's results, your feelings are valid. And if you're pleased with last night's results, your feelings are valid. This morning, I went live and made coffee and breakfast like I always do. And while I usually don't talk about politics, it seemed like a very good opportunity to offer a safe space to anyone who wanted to discuss anything. Now, I live in Chicago, and we are a very blue city. And a lot of the people in my life. Are also blue. At no point did anyone say any disparaging remarks about anyone on the red side, but they did comfort each other. And I think that's a thing that keeps me hopeful, because at the end of the day, no matter what side you're on, we're all human beings. Now, I do agree that there are things that I truly do not agree with on both sides of the aisle. But what I'm looking for, and what I'm trying to pay attention to. Is how we can still remain united. I choose to believe that the people who voted differently than I did voted their conscience with integrity and intention. And while that might not be true of all people, that's what I believe. One of the things that came out during the live was this idea that, for me, at the end of the day, I still remain a wife and mother, which means. Outside of the price of eggs, my life will not change very much. I still have to show up for my family. I still have to worry about healthcare. I still have to be on a budget and stretch every dollar I have to make ends meet. And while the taxes on my house go up, me and my family, for the most part, are still healthy and well. And that is a lot to be grateful for. I don't know what the future holds. I don't know what will happen in January, and I still don't know what's happening with the price of eggs. But what I do know is that I will continue to surround myself with people on both sides of the aisle to continue to have a conversation to learn more, and I will still treat people as equals with dignity and respect, no matter how they voted, because my children are watching me. If you're feeling a loss of control. Let me remind you: the only thing you are in control of is how you respond. I hope you have a good day tomorrow, and I hope you're well fed tonight. Try to remain hopeful and fight for what you believe in, because at the end of the day, we still have meals to make.